What we have here is a Daisy Powerline 880. I picked this up at a uh, dirt cheap store for uh, $13. And uh, just a, it's a BB slash pellet gun. And after I, I noticed it had um, the bolt was broke bolt that you slide back to uh, pull the BBs in. It's got a magnetic tip so it gets the BBs and then it pushes them into the chamber. Um, this part of the bolt would not move. So you would slide it back, slide the handle back, and um, it would not move. So I went ahead and I took it apart and realized it was broke ordered a new one it was like eight bucks and I'm gonna show y'all how to replace it so like I said I had taken it apart to troubleshoot it so I already had all the screws out but you'll take there's a one two three four five six on this side and I think there's six on the other side also one two three four five six Six on the other side. So I just went in and took both sides off just to get that out of the way. And so the bolt itself stays in this part, in this half. And let me see if I can show you. So this is the part you would slide the bolt back, the little handle. And it goes in here just like that. And the bolt itself attaches. Give me a second, I'll get this like it is, like it came out. And then I'll show you how to take it out. Okay, so this is how it came out. And normally this piece right here would be attached right there and it rides right along this part when you pull it back it's gonna sprung now there so then when you pull it back it would pull the bolt back line it up to here which pushes the BBs up it would grab a BB and then push it into the chamber so to get this off, I lined it up right here between these two spots. And then I turned it. And you can just kind of work it back and forth. And it just popped off. So the new one, and it came with a new handle. It's like a dollar difference with or without the handle. I just went ahead and got it with the handle, so that the handle ever broke. There's nothing wrong with my handle, but might as well replace it for a dollar, because I don't think I can buy just the handle. Maybe I can, but definitely wouldn't be able to buy it for a dollar later on. I guess I should open this package before I started filming, but... Here's a new one, and so I don't know, this one looks like it's also, it broke off the little metal piece. I guess they jammed it, and when they jammed it, they probably BB got uh, somewhere where it shouldn't, you know, got wedged in there, and they tried to force the bolt in, and it, it broke that little metal tip off, and it broke the bolt off. This thing's just plastic, so and it's got a magnet in there, and then this metal tip. So we'll work the handle off, kind of like we did the other one. We'll flip this over, feed the handle in, let's see, it goes just like that. Flip it over, line it up to that area. 
take. There. So that's all lined up. Let me get a uh, little bit of gun oil to put on there. Alright, I've just got some rim oil. I'm just gonna give that a little spray. And we're ready to assemble it back together. So this went on this side. We're gonna pull the bolt partially back, just like that. And then we'll flip the gun over to help line this up. So that's lined up. We just make sure that it is in its little path to go into the chamber. And it is. So now we've got a little spot right here. This, uh, make sure when you're putting this back on that it's in this little slot like this. This is the little thing that you slide down to load the BBs. Oh, and it's actually backwards now. So it, this piece right here, this is the part you would grab. It goes on the outside. So this goes just like that. You're going to feed it in. Just like that and so with it like that I can now put this piece on and this is not the easiest to do all one-handed and it's still on so let me get the screws in here I said there's six screws on each side keep track of where each one goes Almost forgot. There's a piece, this little spring, this little springy piece of metal. It drops down right there, and that's what holds the pump up. So make sure you drop that in. And probably the easiest thing to do is just to pull the pump out, just like that, and then you can drop this all together. And it should line up with a hole in this other half of the cover. Just like that. So let me get the screws in. So all the screws are tight. And we can check the bolt. Pull it. Pops back. And it goes back in. We're in good shape. And the pump, that spring, is working. So we're all done. Oh, well, I guess one other thing we should check this slide right here slides down. and stays up. Safety works. So, we're all done. So, a total of, I paid 13 for the gun, and I paid, I think, 8.99 for the bolt. So, um, and, or maybe it was 9 I can't remember, it was 8.99, 9.99, or 10.99. So just say I paid 10 bucks for it. And it was on Amazon. So, thanks for watching.